Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support and here today to show you how to configure a, a GX7000 for Chromoblast and uh, I'm going to briefly uh, touch on installing the driver but for the most part I'm going to show you how to install the profile where to go to get the driver and then um, uh, how to configure your driver uh, settings for Chromoblast using the uh, Chromoblast Inc and then um, take you to the applications of CorelDRAW and uh, Photoshop and uh, show you uh, basic configurations for uh, Chromoblast Inc. Okay, so this is using the ICC Profile PC. I have Windows 7 and this will work with all your operating systems for uh, Windows based computers, uh, both uh, PC, uh, Vista, uh, XP and Windows 7 2000 included and um, how to do the configurations on the driver as well so let's get started by simply um, uh, just explaining uh, you will need the profile the profiles can only be emailed to you by someone in support here at Condi and um, your account manager can explain um, how to go about getting that so once you purchase your system here basic basically you're entitled to a profile and uh, we email it to you from support so that's support at condi.com once you have your profile you just simply save it to your desktop and this one says GX7000 Chromoblast Cotton RC and you right click on it and then left click on install it's done nothing to see happen uh, the profile installs that quickly and I'll show you where to go to get your driver uh, for your GX7000 and um, the way you do that is go to condi.com, click on support, and then you're going to click on Rico support, and you need to know what your uh, operating system is at this point. So if you don't know, right click on computer, left click on properties, and it'll tell you in here. I have Windows 7 32 bit. Um, now I need to find the driver for my GX7000 Windows 7 32-bit and that's going to be this one here. So uh, that's how you go about getting your driver and then um, make sure it's the correct one and then uh, it takes you to a page where you'll download, save it to your desktop or somewhere where you can execute it. Uh, I recommend saving it and executing it from your PC rather than run it straight from here. Okay, so it's going to take you through a process on installing using a USB cable and uh, make sure you connect your cable to a port on the back of your tower, not a hub or a front port. Those are not going to be stable. They're going to cause you problems. So make sure you connect directly into a port on the back of your tower or a port on your laptop is fine. Um, so that's how you go about getting the driver. And once your driver is installed, uh, you'll find it in your printer folder. So go to your start panel, left click on devices and printers, or uh, printers and faxes for XP people, and you're going to find your driver in your folder. Um, so we're using a GX7000, so we're going to um, right click on the GX7000, and if you have XP or Vista, you're going to see properties. And if you have Windows 7, you're going to see properties, but what you need is printer properties. So make sure you go to printer properties. And from here, we're going to go and add the profile we installed. So um, click on color management, left click on color management, and scroll down and find your printer. And then we're going to add a profile and I'm looking for my uh, GX7000 Chromoblast Cotton RC.ICM left click click on OK and I'm going to choose that uh, as my uh, default profile so I'm gonna make sure I'm on manual and um, left click there and set as default so that's my uh, profile it's added to my color management settings on the driver. I'm going to close. 
Now I'm going to left click on advanced and I want to make sure I click on start printing after last page is fooled. That's a selection you want to choose from your advanced tab. And now I want to go to my general tab where I'm going to go and click on preferences. A new dialog box is going to open. And from here I want to choose my um, settings for Chromoblast configuration settings and I'm going to change my paper type to inkjet plain paper and I'm going to left click on user settings and now I'm going to see change and I can select that and from here I'm going to check use air diffusion and color profile uh, we want to turn that off and click on miscellaneous tab to the far right left click on print as bitmap and then click OK and that's going to close our change user settings dialog box now I want to go to printer configuration where I'm going to change my spool format now if you have a 64-bit operating system you won't see this one so 32-bit uh, people will I'm going to choose RAW and I do not want auto reduce selected so make sure that's uh, deselected if I have a bypass tray I can go in here and create a custom paper size for 13 by 19 keep in mind a bypass tray is an accessory it's an additional purchase and we offer them here at Condi contact your account manager if you're interested in one and if you have one um, make sure that it is attached to your printer and if it is attached you're going to have the ability to choose a bypass tray as your paper source here and change or add a 13 by 19 paper setting so that 13 by 19 paper setting will not come by default so you must add it if you have the bypass tray and uh, once you um, create a long edge and you can do that by simply typing 19 tabbing down and type 13 tab um, and that's using the inch measuring uh, unit okay and then uh, you want to name it you can name it 13 by 19 or name it um, you know based on um, you can create up to 10 custom paper settings so you could call this uh, 13 by 19 uh, laptop covers whatever you want to do I call mine 13 by 19 and then uh, portrait or landscape and I save it and uh, now I'm ready to go to my setup tab where I can um, save my custom setting and I'm going to call this Condi ICC and if I want to specify uh, what profile I'm using here I could say uh, you know just see HR for chromoblast and I click OK and then I'm going to click apply and OK and apply and OK out and uh, now my driver settings are complete for chromoblast and uh, I'm ready to close my printer folder so if I'm running uh, Corel Draw X4 I'm going to open that and I'm going to create a new document and just draw a square on the page just so I can access my printer settings so I want to go to tools and color management where here I'll be able to configure for Corel Draw X4 and this will work for X3 and um, uh, up to the Corel version 9 so these settings would work the same for version 9 and up to X4 not including X5 X5 has a different uh, setting so I'm going to choose RGB here I'm going to select these six um, arrows again uh, to turn them on or off you just click on them so I want uh, these two and these going to and from the center rings to be this burnt orange color 
So now what I need to do is to uh, choose a profile. And the profile that we're using for this video uh, is we're doing a Chromoblast setup. So I'm going to choose my Chromoblast ICC profile. And I should see it here. I'm going to left click one time on the center rings. Rendering intent is going to be perceptual. I'm going to click OK. And uh, I want to choose always convert always embed using the uh, internal RGB Frasier. If you don't see it, you can select it from your drop-down. And that's your import-export settings. I click OK. I want to make sure I'm not bypassing anything in here, and I'm not. I click OK. I'm going to change this to the internal RGB Frasier 1998. And now I'm ready to save this setting. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it Condi GX7000 uh, Chromoblast. So I'm going to do CHR. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. And that closes that dialog box. I'm going to click Windows, Color Palettes. I'm going to make sure I'm using an RGB color palette. And I am. If not, make sure you select it. And once you select it, it'll close out and deselect anything else. Okay. So now I'm ready to go to my file, print, where I'm going to find my print settings. I'm going to choose my Gel Sprinter GX7000. And I'm going to left click on my miscellaneous tab. And this is where my profile is going to show up. And that's pulling from your uh, color management settings we just went through under the tools color management. Make sure it's checked to apply it. Uh, if you need to reverse the image, you're going to check mirror here at the pre-press tab. And uh, from your general tab, uh, you can save this setting if you want. And you could call it something like Condi GX7000. I'm sorry. And um, this is Chromoblast, CHR. So that would save, and I might want to even mention that I've mirrored it. Okay, it's up to you how you save the setting, but once you save a setting here, you can just uh, come in here, choose your printer, and choose that save setting. And then uh, you can apply it, and um, once you choose your paper size or your document size, whatever, which you you know, your document size on your printer should match what your document size is in your application. If it doesn't, um, make sure you go to Properties, Page Setting, and choose your 8.5 by 11. Okay? And so now you're uh, set up in uh, Corel Draw X4 version to the version 9 of Corel Draw. You could uh, use these settings, would apply for all those versions. And then um, uh, you would be configured here and ready to print if you were going to print something. So I'm going to cancel out and quickly I'm going to take you through a Photoshop setting as well for people using Photoshop uh, elements. I have elements 10 that I'm going to use um, for this demonstration but uh, the CS versions might be a little different and um, we'll have a video on that as well but uh, I do want to briefly take you through um, using ICC profile with the uh, Condi ICC setting on the driver and configuring your applications. The, the typical applications or the basic applications or the most common applications you will use here at Condi is going to be Photoshop and Corel and some Illustrator. Um, so again you want to add something to the page. Um, blank document using RGB which is doesn't matter because we're just going to go through a setting and put something on the page and we're going to go to edit color settings where we're going to always optimize for printing and most of your elements versions is going to have this choice so I'm going to click OK I'm going to go to file and we're going to pretend to print so that we can set up our uh, Chromoblast settings in the app choose your printer and um, paper size, jump down here to where it says more options 
and your print choices. You're going to mirror your image here if you choose to. And then go to your color management. Make sure that Photoshop Elements is managing color. And from here you're going to change your profile to the uh, Chromoblast GX7000 Chromoblast Cotton. And Perceptual is your rendering intent. And then you're going to click OK. And um, there's nowhere to save it in here, so at this point I would click Print. And because there's nowhere to save it, uh, once you click your print, it will save. So um, some of the other versions of Photoshop, you may w be able to uh, save a custom setting. But you want to make sure that if you're using the ICC profile with, the, with um, uh, configuring the ICC profile in the app, that you have selected that profile in your more options here. So again, profile must be here, Photoshop must be managing color, and mirror your image from your printing choices where it says flip. Again, this is Elements 10, and this would be uh, very similar with other Elements versions on how to set this up. CS versions will be uh, even there'll be even more detail using CS. We have a video on that as well. So again, um, I'm going to click OK. And this is how you set up your Photoshop and your Corel Draw using a uh, Chromoblast uh, printer for uh, transferring onto uh, t-shirts and things like that with Chromoblast ink. And uh, I've also demonstrated how to install the profile and configure and uh, install your driver. So again, if you have any questions on how to do this, you can contact support here at Condi, 1-800-826-6332. Go to 2 for your first available technician. Anyone in support should be able to answer your questions on how to configure and install your uh, Chromoblast printer. Again, my name is Vicki, and thank you for your time.